Developments tonight in that murder suicide inside the Walmart in Hiram. Police are confirming to us the shooter was an ex employee who shot his girlfriend, his ex girlfriend rather, in store, a store full of shoppers. 11 Alive's Erica Murphy spent the day checking in with police and community members, and she joins us live now in Hiram with the latest. Erica. And right now, this Walmart that you see behind me is closed, but what happened here has this entire community shocked. And we certainly don't expect this in Hiram. 83-year-old Patsy Brown says she's lived in Hiram her whole life and is shocked to hear about the murder-suicide that happened at the Walmart on Jimmy Lee Smith Parkway, where she shopped. Police say just before 7.30 last night, they responded to a shots-fired call at that store. Inside, officers found two people, 20-year-old Zoe Messenger and 26-year-old James Norton. They'd been shot. Both later died at a hospital. There is a conversation. There does not appear, it does not appear to be heated but you can tell that she's not willing to really engage in this conversation. At some point, he pulls out a weapon, he shoots her, and then turns and shoots himself. Investigators shared with me Norton was an employee and Messenger had just come into shop when he shot her and turned the gun on himself. Turner says this case has shocked several communities. So now you have two communities. You have the community of Walmart, who are the friends, the associates that have worked with this person and all of a sudden they're confronted with a situation and they're, in, they're, they're stunned, they're in disbelief. Chief Turner and his team are working closely with Walmart to offer support to workers who were here when tragedy unfolded and even brought out the department's therapy dog. But still Brown says the whole situation is concerning and troubling. It would be awful if something like that happened to someone I knew or in my family. I, I, I don't know what I would do. And so, uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, the store is closed today, but we did reach out to Walmart Corporate. A spokesperson told me that there are some preliminary plans to reopen the store tomorrow morning, but they do want to check in with employees who were here just to make sure that they're okay with moving forward with that plan. Back to you in studio. All right, Erica, thank you so much for that update.